All right, guys, so it is June 17th, and it's currently 7 o'clock on the dot, and I am here at the oncology clinic. I'm waiting on my mom. My dad is dropping her this morning. So let me give you guys a little back story. Let me just update you guys because, um, yeah, it's been a minute. But my mom missed three chemo sessions and so so far she only had two sessions of chemo and she missed three basically what had happened um the two treatment she dad had bring her to that treatment and she did her pre-meds and she was on to her first bag of chemo she had like a little reaction like they call it a delay reaction like a kind of um, allergic reaction to the chemo so they stopped the chemo they stopped that particular one because there are many variations of chemo but they stopped that one to allow in three weeks time to come back you know they will start on a new chemo yeah so three weeks fast forward to three weeks her and i went told her that she's not going to receive chemo today that would have been her third one but they told her that she wouldn't be able to receive chemo today because the new chemo that they want to um put her on they have to prep her uh, like a week in advance so like a week before she actually gets that chemo so they have to like give her like pre-meds so on the 27th of May Stefan which is my brother he brought her basically that would have been her third session right a chemo so it would have been like five session a chemo but because she missed three this one that he was bringing her on the 27th of May would have been like her third one usually before chemo the friday if chemo is monday you have to do blood work friday the friday before so she did her blood work the friday before and on the day of chemo the the doctor will revise the blood work and tell you like you know how your blood is reading and if your blood count is good because if your blood count is low they don't give you chemo and apparently that day her blood count um her blood count read low so i think it was like 10 10.5 and it's supposed to be like 11 like 11 to 14 in that range so anything below 11 they don't give you chemo so they didn't give her chemo and they told her that well she needs to build up her blood before she gets this chemo had everything like you know been good um it would have been five sessions five sessions of chemo but so far she only did two sessions and today's a june today's june 17 um i'm hoping i'm praying that she gets the third session of chemo because and and her blood count and everything is good because um if you don't know when you miss a cycle of chemo you no know, the cancer spreads because like the chemo is a poison to help kill out as many cancer cells as there is possible like all you know if you're not getting the chemo on a consistent um basis the cancer will eventually you know spread i'm hoping and praying that everything goes well today and we get good news uh, that is the update so far waiting for her to come and um blood went up so that's good and they didn't decide to change the chemo so they are given the same chemo that she got the, react, the reaction to like giving her back again because they prep her this time um pre-med so yeah 
So I'm like, so I'm the only one here, it's 12.45, and um, hopefully, you know, she finishes on time, so yeah. So guys, a little update, mom did receive her chemo. However, she did get really sick and ended up in the hospital, but as for now, she's doing good. Her fourth session of chemo is going to be on the 8th of July, so hopefully this uh, session don't be as bad as the third one.